If you catch an attitude on the field, you're going to the sideline. On this field, more than football is at play. Because if your mental is not together, you can't do nothing in life. Volunteers with Triumph and Leaders Mentoring Program in Southeast are actively trying to help these young men avoid trouble in their neighborhood. drive throughs drive-bys, gunshots at night, gunshots in daylight, just constantly. <laughs> just feet from this field in Southeast D.C. looms a larger-than-life depiction, reminding them of the dangers. 15-year-old Maurice Scott, killed when gunmen indiscriminately sprayed the area with bullets Memorial Day weekend two years ago. What y'all just did is what happens in life. Y'all worked hard. Most of these kids didn't know Maurice, but his story is no stranger, especially for 13-year-old Elijah Hamilton. You have days where you wonder if if this is it? You just never know, because you go step outside, car go right past, and as you know, you could just get shot. It's like that. Elijah says he remembers playing outside not too long ago. Gunmen drove by and started shooting. He thought a friend was hit. I just started shaking him, see if he got up or anything like that. I looked around on him, I didn't see no blood. It was, it was scary for all of us. All of us didn't like that day. When that, you know, we just looked back at it and just remember how our friend nearly got shot that day. We spent several weeks talking with a few teens and children like Elijah, young leaders who are fed up with the brutality, some of it prompted by people their age. So far this year, D.C. police arrested nearly 400 teens and young children for a bevy of crimes, from robbery to armed carjacking and carrying a weapon. No matter the suspect age, these young people are hoping hearing their voice will trigger change, especially as we head into the summer months. At just 10 years old, Rashawn Merriweather says he's exhausted. Rashawn is simply trying to protect his family, including his one-year-old brother. I don't want him to go quickly, and I want to keep him. Keeping him, Rashawn says, means having a plan in place when the shooting starts. I turn my lights off and everywhere. Um, I get down on the ground and make sure everybody else in the house is doing the same. Six. Somebody that I fought in the in football last season had died in a shootout. So I'm just like, dang, that's sad. Like, he's not even 11 yet. He's my age, 10 years old. And it's just that, yeah. It's like everybody I meet can't even get past that age. Yeah, it's very easy. This 16 year old at Dunbar High School is still feeling the pain from 10 year old Micaiah Wilson's murder in the summer of 2018. He has to get counseling shortly after. It would just feel like, I don't know, am I feeling myself or like, I just feel like it wasn't me after I heard about it. I wasn't feeling like, I feel like I need to get back to my regular self before I heard about it. Between that perpetual pain and the temptation to veer off the right path, Josh Fenner says he had to come up with a plan to deal with it all. You're actively trying to like avoid it. Yeah, that's what I see. Like, I'm, out, I'm in a program. That program is Stay Prime, started by a teacher at Dunbar High, specifically to steer students out of their neighborhood and away from trouble. As Josh sees it, he's pedaling toward his dream. At one point in time, I didn't like going to school. I want to be a teacher. You want to be a teacher? Yeah. <laughs> you want fuss about it? As for Rayshawn, he has big plans for adulthood. I'm going to save the poor people and save the people who are down. And Elijah just wants to score big. I'm going to create a famous death. Okay. In the kitchen as a celebrity chef. I'm going I'm to create. I ain't going to recreate. Okay. That's what I'm gonna do. My man, I appreciate you. All right. Thank you. <laughs> All right. And we'll get some video in a second of you doing your